save up to 22% on your gas consumption. No tools needed to assemble it even if you have two left hands it should work. Your house warms up much faster because the warm air is spread much faster. This is unbelievable guys, we are going to test it because they claim that. You can reduce your energy consumption by 22%. We're going to do it Abdul. Let's get started. I don't have to tell you, gas prices, energy prices that are shooting through the roof. That's really not normal some people have to pay even double what they normally pay, no joke this. So it really is time to think about your energy consumption. Handy gadgets, applying easy things so that you can get energy down. Speed Comfort really has the solution for you. I've tested these things and really, I'm very impressed with what they can do. The great thing about these fans is that you can just do it yourself and you don't need any tools and it's really peanuts, anyone can install this because they have a really good system and well thought out. We are going to unpack sets and we are going to install them right away. To prove it's very easy, pay attention. Left hand, blindfolded 1-2. This is unbelievable guys, done. All I have to do is plug you in and it works. You have to pay attention, these fans are available in 3 sets. The mono set comes with one fan and is for radiators up to 55 cm. The duo set is for radiators 75 cm to 120 cm. And the trio set is 120 cm from radiator, so if you have a very long radiator, you can connect 20 to each other, so you always come out with this. These fans are really super handy and Speed Comfort has really thought about it because they have applied magnets here and you just click them against it, and they are also adjustable in width, so you always come out with this. Suppose you have a very narrow radiator, no problem even that fits. All you have to do is remove this clip, take this magnet and turn it around. And you can do this exactly the same. And so it fits on a very narrow radiator. Super handy and no tools required. I keep repeating it. I love that you can assemble this without tools and also if you have two. Two two left hands. Before you order these fans, you must of course know how many fans you need. And that depends on the room where you are going to use it. One such fan moves 30 cubic meters slash h, per hour. This space is 6 meters long times 5 meters wide and times 3.20 meters, which is 1 2 3.96 cubic meters. So I need three of these fans. Please note that these fans cannot be used with very old radiators, also called see-through radiators or column radiators. You really have to look for a different solution for that, for example waterside balancing. Do you have a convector radiator? No problem, you can easily convert these fans with the supplied feet. In the description you will find more information or the speed comfort and I have also left a link where you can order it. Placing these fans is not high math. It is really super simple and pairing is also very easy. Included as standard is a cable of 30 centimeters. You can also order a longer cable. Let's take a look. Click on it. I do it with my eyes closed. This is a temperature switch that you connect to the fans and will only let your fans run when your radiator temperature is above 33 degrees. And that's pretty smart because the fans don't have to stay on all the time. You should place it as close as possible to the beginning of your radiator or just to your tap because that is your supply. It is very easy, they have applied magnets here and see how simple that is. Oh wait a minute I have to do it my link hand. It's that simple. Then I close the temperature switch on the fan. All I have to do now is plug in the adapter. This adapter is loss free, which means that it does not consume any power when the fans are not on. Which is super handy. One such a fan only consumes 16 cents per year and your room is heated in half the time, so you use less gas, so less CO2 emissions. Let's see this is the adapter click. If you remove the temperature sensor, the fans will start immediately. If you connect it to it, they go out. This way you know that your sensor is working properly. The only thing I now have to check is that I have mounted my fans the right way. So that they blow the air up. Very simple. Feeling with my hand, yes that is very good. Do you know what the beauty of these fans is? They make almost no sound. You hardly hear them. This is so little, this is negligible, you don't hear this. And finished is Anuar and Abdul. These fans are on it. All I have to do now is lower the temperature of my central heating water. In a standard installation, 
This is often set between 70 and 90. I'm going to lower the temperature to 60 degrees now. Then I'm going to see how it feels and if I make it with this, it's perfect. If it's just too tight, I'll raise the temperature. For example to 65 degrees or 70 degrees and then we will see what will happen. I'm going to turn up my room thermostat to test. I just set it to 23 degrees for now, I just want it to turn on. Now I wait until my radiator is warm enough and then the fans have to come on. You have to test that to see if it goes well, the fans should start at about 33 degrees. So we're going to test it. Let's see, I can't hear if the fans are on. So we're going to check that. Fans are just on and I measure, yes 33 degrees so this is perfect. Unbelievable. Do you hear what? Are they on? New? Those things are really quiet, you hardly hear them. They are really very quiet so it's really negligible. Unbelievable, isn't it, Abdul? For now thanks for watching, oh yes if you are not a subscriber yet subscribe to my channel then you will stay informed. And if you like this video give a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.